Let me tell you a little parable that didn't make it into the Bible simply because Jesus hadn't heard it yet. If he had heard it, it would be somewhere in Luke. It's a story all of us know, one of the wonderful fables about a young woman whose name was Cinderella. If there was ever a person who identified with Cinderella, it was me. I absolutely felt like the whole world had gone to a party and I was home cleaning ashes chained to the furnace. Built like the broom that they swept with. And I felt miserable and twisted and contorted and angry and I was a Christian. I had played fair and life was having fun and I was sitting on the porch dying. Now you know the story of Cinderella. She was a scrub girl with this old weird ugly stepmother. Hey, 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 you know this. <laughs> Me, when they look in the dictionary under the word ugly, there was this woman's picture and no writing. That's all you needed <laughs> to say. If this woman had had antlers, you'd have hunted her. This is ugly. <laughs> You would not mind coming home with her tied on your fender. You just didn't want anybody to see her riding up in the seat with you. Ugly. Lots of ugly. Serious ugly. Basic ugly. Do I have you reading ugly? Is that right? Now she had two daughters. <laughs> They were all so ugly. Hard for ugly to have pretty. Easy for ugly to have ugly. Twice. Well, the word had gone out. The king was quite upset because his son, who's called the prince, was getting ready to inherit the throne and he was 35 years old and single. And you cannot leave a kingdom to a single adult. So the king decided we got to find a wife for the prince. Somewhere there is a Diane for my Charles. And we will put their pictures on the cookie boxes of our country. So in order to find the loveliest woman in the land, they had what Baptists used to worry about called a fancy ball, a party, a hoopla, a sock hop if you please. Now, I've just heard about those. I didn't get to go. When I was growing up, that's one thing they didn't want you doing. Going to dances. If you dropped a bowling ball on your foot, don't hop around. They'll think you're dancing. You just stand still and share your witness. Rejoice! 